We've got Highlight in the studio with us. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys Wow, well, you think we could get some light on you. You're way too high for the light. Somebody turn the uh, the dimmer up over there. Oh, there yeah. we go. How oh, are that? you? Six foot seven. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what size shoe do you wear? 14. Wow. Oh, I'm a 16 in the... <laughs> And they're tight, <laughs> ladies. He's talking centimeters. <laughs> Actually, just I just got shoes out. the other day, and uh, I think my sh- feet are shrinking. It was eight and a half. I'm like, what, what? is going on? I would tell on? people that, dude, if I were you. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's eight and a half in European, so. <laughs> anyway. Wow, well, I don't know. What's the exchange rate? <laughs> now, how long have you been with the Gold Trotters? I've been with the team since 2001. Yeah, and uh, what position you play? Well, I play guard, forward. You can no. do it it's all. It's the Globetrotters. Everybody moves around and plays exactly. everything. We play all over the place. Yeah, it's not really a position. Now, now how did you uh, get attracted to the Globetrotters, or how did they find you? Well, or did you, you, did you like, send an application, or how does that work? Well, the Globetrotters have a scouting system just like any uh, other professional organization. Really? And, yep. And um, they seen me playing. I was playing in several different leagues. I played in the, uh, the D League at one point in time, and that's where they actually seen me at. And I was invited to come out and try out. And what do they look for? Do they look, look for like tricks that are like somebody who has good moves on the court? Or? Well, they look for good basketball players. Um, when I came to the Globe Charters, I could spin the basketball on my finger, but that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. They teach you a lot of other things? Yeah, they teach you a lot of uh, other things. You know, um, take the ball behind your back while the ball is spinning. You know, some guys can actually spin the basketball on their heads, on their noses. I can't do that yet, but I've been practicing. But we do a, a bunch <laughs> of other things. But. In order to be a globe trotter, no matter if you're female or male, you have to be a good basketball player. Now, There's you, not female here, globe trotters, is there? There were. Oh wow. Lynette Woodard was the first. Yeah, and remember yeah, Curly just, actually was a woman. I oh, wish she was really? standing right here when you said that. Her hair was curly. Yeah. <laughs> I've often wondered why why they don't even try some of those tricks like in the NBA because some of it would be legal. I mean, making it look like the ball's over here and over there. I'm like, why don't you fake well, them out like they do with the globe Well, they need one of the globe trotter coaches that won't get mad if they try that in the game. You know, nowadays if you do some something like that, they call it showboating. Yeah. And a yeah. Lot of, they they don't want to see a lot of that stuff. Have you guys ever lost a game? Yes, we have. The last really? time we lost to the Generals. Okay. It was in 1971. Are you kidding? In Martin, Tennessee, and the score was 99 to 100. Now, oh. did you play in that game? Yeah. No, I wasn't there, but Curly Neal was there. I love Curly. How does he that happen that they him. won? I mean, because you guys always win, but what happened that day? Well, the story that Curly Neal told me was that they had a substantial lead, and the guys start fooling around, and next thing you know, the clock was running out, and they were down by one. And uh, that history was made that night in Martin, Tennessee, and. Uh, I wasn't there. If I was there, I would have paid more attention to the score. <laughs> you were, were, you, were, were you even born yet? 1971? I think I was being thought of. <laughs> <laughs> you guys also, and this is a great thing, and I'm so proud of you, for all the charity work that you do. I've never seen an organization. I was thumbing through some of those upper cable channels, like yep. in the 4000s or some such, and I stumbled across a, a game you guys were playing in some like third world country yep. to try to raise awareness there. I'm like, there's our Harlem Globetrotters way off in some Namibia sort of thing playing a basketball game. Yeah, you know, that's what the Globetrotters is all about. We're good ambassadors. We're, we're goodwill ambassadors. We travel the world, and um, we like to bring joy and sunshine to places that they would never ever be able to see a basketball team a good basketball team that come through and share some light on them. now i was watching an episode of tlc's john and k plus eight before they went off the air yep and the whole family went to a globe Trotters game and sat courtside and they brought up one of the older one of the older twins i think it was kara went out on the court and was were you were you with them then? i was there oh, i yeah? was there were it they was, cool were they nice man that was so cool and those kids are you know those kids are very disciplined you know you know, well, if the mother like Kate, you'd have to be. <laughs> <laughs> she kept them in line. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Move, stop, go, come. I was like, okay. Maybe she could be assistant coach for you guys. She's pretty she's, disciplined. She's, she's too strict, you know. We, <laughs> we like to mess around a little bit. She we like to, fun. you know, shoot half court shots. She might not let us do that. So. <laughs> That's one interesting thing about the Globetrotters versus the NBA. There's never any controversy with you guys. Nobody's had a gun in their locker. Oh, you no. You haven't gotten in fights and thrown beer on fans. Oh, no. You know, one thing that the Globetrotters look for, uh, first of all, we look for good basketball players. But we do uh, background checks. We want to we wanna bring in guys that are good good guys. Yeah. You know, we don't want people with problems or that's, that's going to cause problems. You know, everybody why, does Why are you looking at me when you're saying that? <laughs> 
I'm just talking you in general. Right <laughs> you the guy with the, all this when hey, he said good basketball players. This too. is the guy with the shrinking feet. You know, I have to look at him. <laughs> That's shady, isn't it? But, you know, you guys, you know, you really like you. I associate America with. I mean, where your uniforms are red, white, and blue. Yep. You've got the stars and everything. You know, I don't know. I just you're. It's like hey, a hot dog, apple pie, Chevrolet, and the globe That's no. right. Do the kids like you when you go? You know, to other countries, especially the other. You know, some of the third world countries, and they find out you were drafted by Chicago, and they ask you about Michael Jordan and everything. Oh else yeah, like that. definitely. They always ask about that, and um, you know, it's it's good to be able to communicate with the kids. Some of the kids speak a little English where we go, but they all know basketball, and they all want to be able to do the tricks that we do, and they ask about the history, you know, of each player and the things, and and we take time out to talk to those kids, you know, the best we can. And it's and and when they leave, you always get an email saying. You inspired me. I want to be a Harlem Globetrotter. Nice. You know, I want to. I want to be just like you, and that makes me feel really good. Who was your role model, man? You know, growing up, my role model was my grandmother, because she was a hardworking lady. She raised me, I, and uh, she raised me and twelve other grandkids. Wow. wow. You know, I was I was uh, brought up in a in a, a bad neighborhood at the time, and Wixom. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. And she and she That's took and she took us on <laughs> shrinking feet. Yeah, I remember That's that not guy. That's my nickname. <laughs> it is now. Yeah, plus she has an excuse. It's a little chilly in here today. <laughs> now, oh. highlight. I have to ask you, who are you picking tonight, Duke or Butler? Well, to be honest with you, <laughs> I'm, I'm always rooting for the underdog. I want Butler to win. Okay. But Duke has a history, and I'm thinking Duke may may pull it out. But I want Butler to win. Okay. What do you think about the Pistons? You don't have to answer that question. You know what? We we might need your help. You know, are they playing today? I mean, we've been choking. Well, you know what? You know, I can give those guys some pointers. You know, we we can teach them some half court shots. You know, maybe they can Wouldn't hit it be one funny of those. If you guys came out like in the middle of one of their games. Well, it's <laughs> second been, half for the in for the Pistons. It's the Globe Trotters. It's been so bad. We're thinking about uh, you know drafting uh, Rick Mahorn again. We need him. Wow. <laughs> I know, it's that bad. <laughs> That's the only name you can pull out real quickly. <laughs> well, Lambeer, uh, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Little... That's not believable. Sure. <laughs> I'm trying to take him up and down in the near someday and see what happens with that. All right, Harlem Globetrotter is going to be at the Palace on uh, April 11th. There's tickets still available, and they're they're inexpensive. Yeah, uh, you keep the prices down. Fifteen bucks starting off again, at fifteen bucks. You guys don't make billion dollar salaries. You don't run around in a really fancy car and fly first class. Everywhere, you know right? what? What I tell the kids, they always ask, "How much money do we make?" Yeah. And I tell them, "It's not about the money. It's about putting." Million dollar smiles on people's faces. How about that? Oh. And and that's what I, we and like I would to do. Say, if I were one of the kids, you're lying. It's all about the money. <laughs> so. And you probably still make more than we do. <laughs> Be like Kate Goslin and bring the whole family out to see the Glow yep. Trotters. But I will say one thing: when you sit back there, how do you even sit and coach? Not not just because of that. I can't. I think your knees would be like over the person's shoulders in the seat in front of you. Well, you know, mainly we we try to fly business class, and if that's not available. Uh, we make sure that we try to get the exit rows because there's a lot of room in the exit rows. If not, you have to get the aisle and you have to go to the bathroom over and over. You and know, over yeah. Nancy to get Pelosi's straight. plane. Yeah. <laughs> That's a whole other story that we don't <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of time for. But it's been great meeting you. It's an honor having you guys in here when you come through, and uh, you know playing in town too. And I hope uh, everybody brings your family and all the kids out to see you and see some real good wholesome fun. Yep. Thank you for having us.